I am back for a quick review, my lads and lasses and everyone in between. If you want to know what's going on with me and why I have not been uploading a lot, uh, I'll give you a rundown at the end of the video. For now, uh, let's just jump right into the new uh, porn puzzler, Furry Shades of Grey 3. The third installment of Furry Shades of Grey is out and it is extremely fabulous and extremely fun for those who are less initiated. Furry Shades of Gay is in essence honey pop, but for the furry audience. Obey it, more guided and story driven and a bit less open than the latter one. However, the game makes up with branching paths and scenes you can explore at your leisure. To progress through the story and unlock alternative pathways, you play some manly match 3 puzzles. If you have played Bejeweled, Candy Crush or whatever else is out there, you know how to play the game and what to expect. For everyone else, you essentially match 3 symbols of the same kind to progress the field and get more from above. You can also combine 4 or 5 of the same kind to get some special tiles that explode or clear entire rows or columns. Puzzles have a variety of goals to fulfill. Either you have to reach a certain points threshold or you have to clear a set amount of tiles to progress. All of these goals have a limited amount of turrets attached to them, so you cannot play until you achieve them. You have to achieve them in a certain amount of turns and you have to think a little bit of what you are doing essentially. These goals, however, are very doable and I have achieved most of them in my first try. Sometimes I had to go back and redo them to mitigate some RNG, which is the nature of these match free games. You get four different tools that will help you to tip the scales to your advantage, essentially. So you can get either five additional turns, bomb that clears out parts of the board, a needle that removes a single tile that is really annoying you, or an item with which you can swap any old tile with one another. So nothing stands in your way on the journey to get some cock. The gameplay is solid. Of course, match free games aren't everyone's cup of tea, but if you like those, you must know yourself. I personally, I am a sucker for those, so I will play the shit out of them if I see them, and especially when they come with porn. Of course, the most interesting part of the game are the stories and art. You get five stories that serve various needs and fantasies. For example, the first story revolves around Hugo, who is flirting via a dating app with an unknown person. He pretty quickly finds out that it is his boss, William. Don't worry, this is not a spoiler. Everyone with one brain cell knows instantly what's going on. And both start fucking each other in the office. A nightmare for every HR department and a lawsuit waiting to happen. Another story is Mikey, who's a boomer like me. I think he's actually built as a millennial, but like, who cares? He's old, he gets back issues, I can relate. And he calls a masseuse because he needs to get his back fixed, obviously. Of course, the masseuse is a hot dude who not only does spine stabilizing treatment with his hands, but with his giant fucking rod. That indeed does spike Mikey's lust into the high heavens, giving him the relaxing feeling he deserves. My favorite story, however, so far, was between Alex and Valentino. It's the most cute and heartfelt out of all of the scenarios, uh, about two former college friends reconnecting after years apart. Alex decides to visit Valentino after he finds out the Ox got really big, buff and a very successful winemaker. Wine testing turns into dick testing with Alex riding Valentino's massive wine bottle and that turns into love. Beautiful. Couldn't, couldn't have made it better. The art is consistently good, except in rub and romance, where it sometimes feels a bit off. I never really can tell what Orlando the masseuse is supposed to be, either a puma or an otter. What, what, what are you? Tell me, please. I have no clue. That's a minor criticism though, really. 
you get so many beautiful drawings that a few that feel off barely matter. Sex scenes are animated, um, which I can't show because YouTube will fucking have my head for it. The animations are a bit rough, but do the job just fine. The game is voice acted, but not fully. And the pool of voice actors also seems rather limited. You'll encounter the same voices in multiple scenarios. Not minding that personally, as I know the budget was probably very limited, or better said, tighter than Mikey's asshole. Uh, however, some people do get taken out of the experience by it. I think the voice actors do a fine job overall, though. It sounds how it's supposed to sound. I think they also picked the right people for the job, and I wasn't bothered by it. Need a hand? I mean, what? The music is compromised of short loops. Thankfully, the scenarios are short enough, so the music doesn't get too annoying. I especially had issues with the, with the loop in the scenario with Hugo and William. I was really tempted to put the music on mute once in a while, so you should just keep that in mind. Was sometimes a bit grating to listen to. Overall, if you look for furry art combined with match 3 puzzles, I highly recommend Furry Shades of Gay 3 to you, and the predecessors obviously too. I'll give it 7 out of 10 massive wine bottles. The game is available to Purchase on Steam and Itch. And now go cram one out. Hey, I'm the Orchestraurus. Thank you for watching the video. Um, this wasn't planned. I haven't uploaded in a bit, so I've just took something that I liked and made a video about it. It's a bit rough, I know, but um, more in-depth videos are coming. I'm working still on something. This is not a lie. This is something that will happen and yeah stay tuned for that what do i have planned is probably a good question um so i'm still working on a review about dead end aegis a visual novel i like very much i am also planning on doing something with uh, the vanishing of ethan carter i'm not sure which one will be out first but that's something that i want to do I also work on a little, no, I wouldn't say documentary, but a video just in general about Bara art style, how we call it in the West, and its origins in Japan, because I'm very interested in that. So I don't know when these videos will come out, because I want to make them quality videos. I don't want to make them a bit more like... This one, this one was just a quick one for, yeah, to, 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 to tell you I'm still alive, I'm not, I'm not dead. Jobs Works has been kicking my ass and um, that's just the thing, you know. In general, I stream Fridays and Saturdays on the platform, I usually play video games here and hang out with the community, so if you want to join that. Uh, keep an eye out for the streams. They always go up an hour before I go live and In general just be here and watch the videos Your support means the world to me Whatever you do if you've ever interacted with my content. Thank you and I'll be back soon with more stuff To talk about Take care everyone. Bye. Bye